Hello, this is going to be the makeup for the baker. So starting out with the same base in the base video and then just going in with this really warm brown tone, I'm going to start that contour and this we're going to just keep really nice and rounded and I'm just going to drag it down towards the bottom a little bit just to add that nice definition. And then making sure to get that all nice and blended out while making sure the pigment does not get lost in there. And then just for the very edges, I'm using a beauty blender to make sure that I didn't blend it too low. And then just adding a little more pigment up towards the top just to make sure everything is nice and seeable, especially from that stage. You can do this with either a contour stick, a powdered contour, or a very blendable eyeshadow. I actually really like to use eyeshadow. And then I'm also going in and squaring up the nose a little bit, and then just rounding out the very point of the nose by adding a little more contour above the very tip of the nose. Like I said, when it comes to product, it just kind of comes to whatever works best for you, but... You just want to give it that nice, warm look. And now I'm going to go in with a slightly cooler toned brown for the eyes. Still a warm brown overall, but it's going to be a little cooler toned than what we had on our cheeks. And then I'm just going to make sure that is all nice and blended out softly. And blending it down underneath my eye just to make sure that the definition is connected everywhere that we've got it and I'm actually blending it over to the inner corner of my under eye as well just to shadow in the eyes a little bit and give it just a little bit of that kind of tired look this helps deep set the eyes just a slight bit and also blends down into that nose contour So now, I'm using this very fine brush, and I'm going in and squaring out the lower edge of my eyebrow. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, just to make sure they are nice and even. And again, doing this with a warm, dark brown. And then I'm going to come from my arch and kind of bring that pigment down along the edge and then fill in that shape that I've got after I get it even on both sides. And you want to have kind of the darkest part of the eyebrow be at the very edge and then for it to kind of gradient lighter as you get there. And these do not have to be super clean eyebrows um, because they are supposed to be just a little messy so they look a little more realistic. So you'll see I kind of add a few little strands going out of that shape a little bit. This just helps to make them look a little bit more natural while still being nice and defined and kind of squared out. And then if I have any extra edges that I don't like, I usually just take my beauty blender and even them out. So I'm just going in and making sure that that is nice and blended on the eyebrow and that we have some nice rounded out definition. And then I'm taking that same dark brown and I'm just going to define the edges of my lash line. This is just really going to round out the eyes and make them nice and defined from the stage. 
And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. I like to do this a little bit with my eyes open, a little bit with them closed, um, just so I can kind of see what I'm working with and see what I'm doing. And then once that is where I like it, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and just blend out that very outer edge, just so it is nice and soft and doesn't take my eyes up too much. And then I'm gonna come in with this kind of pink tone and I'm just gonna dot a little bit on my lower lip and then kind of buff it out on my upper lip and lower lip. This just adds a little bit of color without being too colorful. And then I'm gonna go in with this round brush and I'm going to add some pigment to the apples of my cheeks and then just blend it up. This is a pretty warm blush tone because I just want this whole look to be very warm, similarly to The Baker's Wife. And then same thing on the other side, starting the um, strongest part of the pigment on the apples of my cheeks and then blending it up towards the higher part of my face. but making sure that the strongest pigment is really in the front of my face. And then I'm adding a little bit of that blush to the nose as well and to my chin. This is just gonna kind of round out the whole look and make it look very kind of sweet and wholesome. And I'm just blending those edges out and including my chin. And once I'm happy with it, that is the makeup for the baker. Thank you.